Hello everyone. Let's take a look at our next problem. Can 1 million and 3 be written as the sum of two squares number two square numbers? Can 1 million 3 be written as the sum of two squares? Um, I'm not exactly sure the best place to begin here, except noting that for sure, if we have, if we do have values of A and B that satisfy this, then, um, one of them has to be odd. One of them has to be even. Right. Uh, if they're both even, we have a contradiction. If they're both odd, then they add up to an even. So we have another contradiction. Um, another thing I've seen pretty quickly is that this is very, you know, this is very close to the number one million, which itself is uh, a perfect square. So what I'm tempted to say here is. Well, maybe I admit, no, maybe I shouldn't conclude that right away. Uh, I was going to say something along the lines of, you know, this is too close to a square number to being to itself being a sum of two squares, but I don't really know if there's any um, meaningful meaning behind that. Um, can this be written as a sum of two squares? This would be a great question to just write some code for uh, and do a search. Um, I'm just going to try some things here and try and get some intuition for how sums of squares might be distributed. So this is equal to nine nine eight zero zero one. And that is the difference between these two numbers is two thousand and two which is not a perfect square. Mm. I'm going to try I'm going to try just a couple more quick pairs of numbers here. Um, okay, and the difference between this number and our starting number is 3,999, which I don't think is a perfect square. Um, you know what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and uh, use this property here Yeah, so let's assume that A is the even one. So A is equal to 2N for some value of N and B is equal to 2K plus one for some value of K. Um, so I'm now looking for integers N and K, which make this true. And if I expand this, what do I get? I get 4k squared plus 4k plus 1. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, aha, great. Okay, here we go. So the answer is no. And why is the answer no? It's because the left-hand side is not a multiple of 4, but the right-hand side is. Cool.
So it had nothing to do with, you know, my first intuition being the, in some, in some sense, how spread out sums of squares have to be. And the fact that this is very close to a square had nothing to do with that. Um, but just writing out, you know, this, this was of course a, a key insight, something that I noticed right away, um, that one of them has to be odd and one even, and then just codifying that statement into, um, a couple of expressions. And we see right away that, uh, we get a contradiction because the left-hand side is not a multiple of four, but the right-hand side is. That's a cool problem. Thanks for watching.